Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Hostinger domain to WordPress in 2023. Hostinger is a platform that offers domain registration and WordPress is a popular content management system. So, in this guide, we will walk you through the essential steps or a step-by-step -step guide to get started with connecting your Hostinger domain to your WordPress website. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video and simply let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll have to go and log in into your Hostinger account. To do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. In my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, make sure to go to the URL section. Basically, you'll have to type hostinger.com and hit the enter account or the enter sorry key. Once you do so, here you'll have to go and click on login at the top right corner if you want to log in into your account if you have one. If you don't, you'll have to go and click on claim a deal or choose one of their plans as you can see from here to create a new account for yourself. If you're interested about the pricing, here's this with the features as you can see. So I'll just scroll down through this and as you can see, all of their plans, they have a managed WordPress, so you can even get your domain from here and manage your WordPress website even from here if you don't want to transfer. So let's just go through those as you can see. And uh, if you don't know much about this website, you can always scroll down, read more information about the website. As you can see, if even like rated from Trustpilot, so you don't have to worry about anything and familiarize yourself with the website. So now I'll just log in into my account, as you can see by clicking at the top right corner here, login option. And here I have three options or four options. I can log in with my email and password or Google, Facebook, or GitHub, which will be very easy uh, for me. So I'll just log in with my Google because this will prevent you from doing all the boring steps of logging in into my account. So once we are at our hostinger dashboard, now we'll have to go and locate or go to the domains first of all, as you can see, and this is where you will manage all your registered domain. Now, make sure to go and find or locate the domain uh, that you want to transfer. So this is, uh, here, just click on it, of course, and access its settings or its DNS settings. In the domain settings, look for name servers. As you can see for me, I don't have any, so I'll not be able to show you exactly, but it's very easy. It's just access its settings or DNS settings and go and look for name servers. By default, you will find like hosting or name servers will be in use. Click on change name servers provided and of course you will have to do provided by your WordPress hosting. You need to change it from Hostinger to WordPress of course. That's WordPress provided, not just something random from you. After uh, updating the name servers, save your changes and this process may take like a little while to propagate across the internet. After that, now head over to WordPress dashboard and login. So, to do so, go and open a new tab, go to wordpress.com, hit the enter button. Same way, I'll just open my local host. And of course, make sure to go to the top right corner and log in into your account. And if you don't have an account, you'll have to go and create an account for your own. Once you do so now in your WordPress dashboard, you will have to go and access. Once you go to the list panel, click on settings and then click on general. Once you do so, as you can see, you'll find here the site address. So as you can see, buy a custom domain map, a domain you already own or redirects this site. You can change this site address to the domain on the domain settings. So you can simply go and click on add a custom domain. If you want to add a custom domain, as an example, here is an example. If you look for the domain name that you have, as an example, let's just try this one. And let's see if they're going to show it to us or show it to us here. As, they can, as you can see, they will not show me my domain because it's already owned in another domain provider. Even if I go down and click on show more results, as you can see, I'll not find it at all, even if I keep going forever. What I will need to do, instead of clicking on add custom domain, click on map here, as you can see. So click on map, and here you will have to go and type that domain out. Simply go and click on add, and as you can see, once you do so, here you will find zero dollars on your one so basically just go we want to deny all of that and simply go and get our zero one and simply remove this from cart and remove this from cart and simply i guess you will not be able to do that so let's just click on learn more about domain transfer here and simply you can scroll down and verify your uh, domain is eligible for transfer. So basically, you'll be able to do that 
through domain sections so here is it just click on domains click on add a domain and click on use a domain i own so here i'll just type the domain that i own i was i was mistaken it's with something so sorry about that just click on continue and as you can see transfer your domain so click on select and start setup i found this domain so settings page so you'll have to go to the domain provider and get the authorization code where you will get, get it simply go and click on here go to your domain settings and of course from there you will find once you change the name servers you'll find around there like the app or authentication code because if you go here to transfer as you can see this option you will have two options to transfer domain to hostinger like from another place to hostinger or from hostinger to another account on hostinger so basically you'll have to go and get your authorization code and check the readliness to for transfer and as you can see from here it's the same step so you'll have to select this go i found this domain instead is or i found the domain settings page and as you can see once you go to the domain settings page you will be able to find the to find the authorization code and of course as you can see once you enter the authorization code as i have here click the button below to proceed because as you can see a domain authorization code is unique code linked only to your domain it might also be called the secret code auth code or app code as i said and you can usually find this in your domain settings page so just go to your hostinger go to your dns setting settings and look for the app code or authorization code or auth code or secret code depending on whatever it could be called there once you have it just go and paste it here click on check read Linux for transfer and then you will have to finalize the transfer as you can see here so as you can see you'll find it's in process you will have to wait a bit uh, as you can see in progress you have submitted authorization code and paid for the transfer you cannot change any uh, domain settings during this time this transfer will be uh, complete within five to seven days so you will have to wait from five to seven days and you will be basically good to go of course as we said we'll have to change the dns or name servers but we already do that, so we don't basically have to do that anymore. Then you'll be able to set it on WordPress as your primary address, as simple as that. And you can even cancel a transfer whenever you want and however you want. And that's going to be basically it. So, of course, now you'll be able to even verify the connection. You can visit your custom domain in a web browser and it should be displayed as your Word, or it should be displayed now, displayed your WordPress like website. And of course, that's going to be it for you. If you reached the sponsor of this video, congratulations. You've successfully connected the domain from Hostinger to your WordPress website in 2023. And this integration ensures that your custom domain is correctly linked to your WordPress site. And remember that DNS changes may take some time to propagate. So be patient if your domain does not immediately work, as I said. So it should take from five to seven days. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.